Media war happening. Mateusz Kaniowski, NMAPL, razem ze mną Drykos Duplessis. I'm sure it was easier cutway to middleweight than before. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the cut down to welterweight was a very, very vicious cut. Uh, middleweight is it's, uh, still always hard to cut weight, but uh, uh, we prepared uh, for eight weeks to make sure the weight cut goes perfect. And cutting seven kilograms less, we put on some muscle for the fight. But also, uh, it's been a long time for me since I've lost fought. But because we had to make sure that even though I'm getting more muscle, I have to. It takes more training to to get fit on that weight. So uh, I weighed in at 84. It was still a, a big cut, but it was it was good, and I'm feeling great, much better than welterweight. So you can say that it was good training camp before the fight. Absolutely perfect. Everything went perfect in the camp. Obviously, there's a few injuries. Always every fight camp, some injuries when you train hard. But it's been 11 months since my last fight and I was never off. I didn't take one week, more than a week off for in this whole 11 months. I was constantly getting better after my last fight was a loss. And that's not good for me. I hate to lose. I'm a winner and uh, I have to get this win back in the new division. And my goal is to make sure that I get that title shot after this fight. So I, am, I put in a whole lot of work. I'm feeling in the best shape of my life. So after the big streak of the winning, after one loss, you have a lot of motivation for this fight? Yes, I believe uh, the loss didn't give me more motivation. I always am very motivated, but uh, the loss made me see you, I can lose and that in, this is the fight game. So anything can happen. It was nothing personal. Uh, I still I have a lot of respect for Roberto. I think he's a brilliant fighter. I still believe I am the best fighter on the roster and in the world. And uh, he caught me with a punch and we are one for one and maybe one day we can settle this. It won't be at, at, uh, at welterweight, I can tell you that for sure. But um, uh, the loss was, it was devastating for me. I hate losing, but it didn't uh, change anything for me. If I'm still the same hungry guy and uh, whoever I fight, I'm planning to beat and to get the belt as soon as possible. So sometimes do you think about the rematch, uh, first, first match with Roberto Soldic? Yeah, I wouldn't say it's something that uh, stays in my mind the whole time. I wouldn't say it's something that I think about. I just think about, you know, uh, climbing back to the top and getting that big winning streak again. And uh, whoever I face next will be uh, will be a win and uh, getting those wins back. And, uh, you know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. This is the sport. And as long as I feel I left it all in the cage, I am happy. It's not only about winning, it's also about putting on a show. And that's when I go out there, I want to do everything I can to keep the fans happy and put on the best performance. And that's even I didn't win the last fight. I know I put up a massive performance and that's what it's all about is going and enjoying it because I love the sport. Tomorrow your opponent will be Joilton. What do you know about him? I know he's a black belt and I know he has a lot of experience, but I saw his last few fights and his opponents were bums. He's been fighting very bad opponents like some of the guys. It looks like the fights were called before the fight, even like one shot and the guys just go down for nothing. And if he thinks he's going to get the same fight from me, he is making a very big mistake because for me, it, I'm not an easy fight. For me, it's going to take something special to get me down. We've seen this before. I've never gone down easy in a fight. And if he really wants that win, he has to be willing to die in there because I am willing to die. And if he, he's not, he's going to have a bad night at the office. What do you think about fighting so so often like him? Um, he fight three times in this year and 37 times in his whole career. Yeah, I can say if I had to fight so easy fights like him, I would take the fights as well because it's easy money. But I don't fight like that. I'm fighting harder. Why, Why you not take fights like this? You say that it's easy money. I have a pride and I believe you are only as good as your opponents. Uh, and uh, if I'm fighting easier fights, it makes me look like my wins aren't. My whole career is not real. I'm not, it's not based on all my opponents I faced is big names, big guys with a lot of fights, with a big experience. And it's really uh, top ranked opponents in the world. Some of the guys he fought looks like he fought in his last two, three fights, some guy making his debut. That's not good for anybody to fight, uh, making fighting debutants and fighting nobodies. It's, it's not going to progress my career and I'm looking to progress my career and become the best in the world. So I understand that you have a good opinion about him. 
Yeah, I think uh, personally, I don't know him very well and uh, I have no opinion of him personally. For me, it's uh, just looking at his fights and seeing that um, I know I'm better everywhere. Even though he's a black belt, I have faced three black belts before and I have submitted three of them. So uh, actually, I faced four and I've submitted three of them. So I'm not scared of the ground game. There's a big difference between grappling and uh, MMA grappling. There's a big difference and uh, his uh, stand-up doesn't look good to me. He's, uh, he's an all-around fighter, but everywhere I think I'm better than him. So how will looks your fight? Um, well, the fight starts on the feet. We'll see how it goes there. If uh, I'm doing great on the feet, we'll stay there. If, I'm keeping, if we get into the clinch and I see I'm doing good there, I can take it in the clinch. And if we go to the floor and... Uh, I'm on top, there's big trouble for him. I can tell you that. If I'm on top of him, he is in big trouble. The jiu-jitsu won't be able to save him. Then I will smash him on the ground if I'm on top. That's a fact. So can we expect the best version of Drikus? Absolutely. The strongest, better, fittest. Uh, me at middleweight is a different beast than at, at welterweight. There was no cutting. I could have a proper camp. I could put in a lot of work and recover properly. I'm feeling amazing. This is 100%. Uh, it's hard to say because I lost my last fight, so I don't want to speak too much. But come Saturday, everybody will see and people will know who I am. Yeah, it sounds nice. But what's your goal in middleweight KSW? Uh, I want to. I know there's a lot of guys in the ranking system for the, the middleweight division is looking quite good right now. I mean, there is uh, Alexander Illich, uh, who's fighting good. There's Janikowski, who. Well, he's not on a good streak, but he's a good guy. Matala is there, and of course the champion Scott. But for me, I don't see any of those guys uh, as anybody of them better than me. I have no uh, doubt in my mind that I will beat any one of them on any day. So my goal is to put on such a performance Saturday night that even though there's a lot of contenders, they will say, listen, we can't take this away from Rikas. We need this guy to be the champion. They want me to be the champion and they will give me an immediate title shot. But if not, I will fight whoever. But my goal is with this fight is to make a statement and show the world that I am the best and I deserve that, that title shot and I deserve to be the champion. Okay, so if you win, who will be your dreamy opponent? The title, of course. I don't dream about opponents, I dream about titles and that's it. Whoever I have to fight to get the belt, that's my dream opponent. Okay, I wish you it. Thank you for the interview. Thank you very much, man.